Hello, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. I wasn't entirely sure I was going to be able to make it tonight, but I did. So I'm super excited to show you the project we have tonight. Um, I send birthday cards. I know it sounds really terrible, but the last few months, I literally have not. And I apologize profusely to all the birthdays that I've missed. And I have set a goal that I need to start doing it again. I love sending cards. I make hundreds of cards every single, maybe not hundreds of cards every single month, but close to it. Um, and I need to start sending them again. So I have made out my kind of to-do list and that is on there. So I will be starting to send out my birthday cards again. So I apologize if you are one that did not get a birthday card for me from the last few months. So tonight is going to be a fun birthday card. I know Thanksgiving is today. All of the holidays are coming up. I've done lots of holiday um, gift card holders and cards and I thought, let's just do something kind of whimsical and fun and different on Thanksgiving. So let's point you over. Hopefully the audio is okay this time. If anybody, if anybody is logging on, please let me know how the audio sounds. I did refilm Tuesday's live um, a little bit ago and I posted it on YouTube. So it is on there with a the clean recording. So you can go back and watch that. Um, and I have no idea what happened because when I came out and did that one, it worked just fine. So me and technology do not go hand in hand, but at least I try. Anyway, okay, let's point you over and we will get started. So the set I chose today is called Enjoying Little Things. It's kind of hard to say because I want to say enjoying the little things, but that's not the name of the set. So it is called Enjoying Little Things. It is in the holiday catalog, and I loved this happy birthday. I've actually used this a couple times in a card class, and I love the hugs and kisses and the sunshine and smiles. It is just a lift me up set. So that's what we are going to be playing with tonight. So I am just making sure we are live on Facebook, and it looks good, so that is perfect. And I actually didn't bring in the Iconic Celebration Designer Series paper pack, but it is sitting right here on my table. And I have used so much of this. Uh, it is absolutely one of my favorite Designer Series paper packs. And I like how you can have it for um, autumn, you can have it for Christmas, you can have it for uh, St. Patrick's Day, um, winter, Christmas, literally the set is, oh, really beautiful. And even Valentine's Day. So if you haven't gotten it, definitely do so because the catalog actually will be ending, um, I believe the end of December, the first part of January. So definitely order it while you can. Hello, Kathy. Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome. Um, so this is the card we're going to be playing with tonight. It is very simple, but it is perfect. It literally does the trick. Um, there isn't knighted navy in this designer series paper pack, but I really thought the knighted navy paired super well with the balmy blue. So that is what I chose to do on this. And I colored the little cupcake as well. So let's get started. I did put in all of the dimensions prior to going live, but I will go over them with you as well. So this is a piece of our thick basic white and it measures eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. I'm just going to go ahead and fold that in half. Grab my bone folder. Good evening, Heather. Welcome. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. The kids all came over. They left a little after four. So uh, Bo and I have kind of just been relaxing and he was like, you should go do something for your live and say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. So that is why I'm here. So I have two pieces of Night and Navy. One, this one measures four by five and a quarter. And this one measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter. 
my designer series paper. I have two of them. This one is three and three fourths by five. This one is three inches by four inches. And I honestly did not do this on purpose, but when, I'm glad I did. I'm glad it was a happy accident. Um, when you layer these two pieces together, it actually lines up perfectly. Isn't that crazy? I have no idea how I did it. I cannot even explain to you if you cut it a specific way, it is gonna line up perfectly because I don't know what I did, but I am super happy that it lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two pieces of designer series paper together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this to my card base. We actually have two cards we're gonna be making tonight using two different designer series paper, not packs. It's the same pack of paper, but it's two different designs. So this one is the stripes, and then we're going to do the birthday cake. And it's all out of the same designer series paper pack. So this I'm going to go ahead and glue down, but I'm not going to glue it to the card base just yet. Let's do a little bit of stamping. So I brought in my Knight of Navy and I just re-inked it. So hopefully I didn't re-ink it too much, but I really need to just go through and re-ink all of my ink pads because I think they're all a little light. Oh, that actually worked out pretty good. So I stamped the happy birthday and then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna stamp the cupcake in the center. Now, here is a little tip for you. Technically, you are not, not supposed to, I shouldn't say that, you definitely can, but you shouldn't use blender pens with our ink. You can use it with the memento, but not our colored ink but I'm gonna show you a little trick. If you're coloring a small image and you do it quickly, you should be fine. So this is a super tiny image and I'm using the balmy blue, otherwise it bleeds. So just go quick and don't diddle daddle and you should be okay. So I'm gonna do the base and I'm gonna do the whipped cream. Whipped cream can be really any color you want. I don't know if I've technically seen blue, but that's what I'm coloring it. And I have my dark crumb cake that I'm going to do with kind of the outside of the cupcake, the cupcake liner. There we go. So usually when I do my lives, I tell everybody to stamp and memento, but I wanted it to be the same color as my card base. So I'm grabbing the two and a quarter inch circle punch and I actually went online before I did the live to make sure it was still in stock. I didn't see it online, but you can always use um, your deckled circles if you don't have the two and a half inch circle punch. And then I brought in the two and three eighths inch circle punch. And you guys are probably gonna laugh at me because I was supposed to punch this out of the inside before I glued it together. So I'm gonna take my other one and just punch out of the center. I will go get another piece of Night and Navy in a few minutes. <laughs> I got busy talking and forgot what I was doing. So I am going to glue this together. Actually, I don't need to because I can use this piece, the backing. So there's that. Let's flip it over and grab some dimensionals. Those are my mini. There is none on there. There we go. I knew they were here. And I am going to put four dimensionals on here. I don't think we need one in the center. I think we should be okay. But if you wanna put one in there, go ahead. So make sure your happy birthday is going the right direction. And we're gonna place that right on top. 
grab some white ribbon. This is the white, actually it's just called white ribbon. Grab your mini glue dots. And we're gonna wrap this around the bottom. I just wanted a little something on the bottom of it. And because the colors are a little bit more masculine, I didn't wanna use gems, even though I could have. I don't think anybody would have really noticed. And then I'm gonna grab my ribbon. I usually work with the ribbon on the spool. And I'm gonna tuck this in and tie it in a knot. I find I have a lot less waste when I work with it on a spool versus cutting it ahead of time. So I'm gonna trim that and I'm gonna pick it up and just trim the edge so it's a pretty edge. So literally that is all the waste I had. And then what I like to do is grab another mini glue dot and I like to put it up underneath the knot and this is just gonna help hold it in place. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, but just for giggles. We're gonna flip it over, add some more dimensionals to the back. And yes, I did you do double dimensionals that I usually don't do either. But this one I am gonna put one in the center. And then Let's line this up so our lines are even. That looks pretty good. And there you go. That is how easy these cards are to put together. Now, if you really want to be cool, I'm not that cool. You could actually cut out the four by three piece from the inside of this layer. Um, it would take a little bit of work and I have, it's designer series paper. We don't need to do that much work. I just want you guys out there crafting and having fun. Okay, so let's cut out, punch out the two and three eighths first <laughs> before we glue all of this down. Now, the only bad thing about doing that is you have to glue all of it to the card base itself. Otherwise, you're gonna get glue everywhere. Hello, Teresa. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on here, glue it down. So I'm kind of working a little backwards, but it's just because I chopped the centers out. This one, I can put glue all over and it's gonna cover up that hole. So just me and you know that there's a hole in the bottom of it. And I'm not going to glue this down. I'm gonna wait so I can wrap the ribbon. Actually, I could probably just put a little bit of adhesive on the top and the sides. Just don't put any in the center, otherwise you're gonna glue it to your work surface and then you're gonna get frustrated. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I already have that. Let's grab another scrap piece of white. Grab our stamp. Ink up happy birthday. And then I wanna ink up the center. But you could really put any one of these images in the center of this happy birthday. Grab our colors and we're gonna quickly color this in so it doesn't start smearing the night and navy. I try not to teach you guys bad habits, but if it's a small enough image, you can get away with doing this. Grab your circle punch or your deckled circle dies. Let's punch that out. Glue this together. Let's 
perfect. Flip it over. Grab some dimensionals. And I actually saw somebody the other day. I don't, oh, I do have a Sharpie. I'll show you in a second what I'm about to say. Let me glue that down. There we go. So I saw somebody the other day take a Sharpie and draw on their dimensionals. So when you're picking them up and putting it on your paper, you will know if you took the back off the dimensional. I actually thought that was quite brilliant. Okay, let's do the ribbon and then I will show you what I'm talking about with the little lines I just drew. And make sure if you have directional specific paper, make sure you're going in the right direction. I actually did not triple check, but I'm glad nothing's upside down. <laughs> but I honestly still would probably send the card even if it was upside down. I put in, I put cards together backwards more than once and I still sent them out. Uh, let's do it this way so I have a little bit, actually I don't think it matters. That's a little wonky of a way to tie a knot. I made that look a lot harder than it needed to be. This one I might have a little bit more waste, but that's okay. It's really not tragic. Take a mini glue dot, put it up underneath your knot. And now when I go to put my dimensionals on, I will be able to tell if I've taken the backs off all of them. I kind of thought that was brilliant. So all the backs are off now. And let's bring our card base back in. Hello, Sarah, and yes, happy Thanksgiving. So this one did not work out as well of lining up. If I scooted it over a little bit, but then it wouldn't be centered. So like I said, I don't know how I did that for the first or the card we did on the live, but it worked out. So there you go. There are all of your fun, quick, and easy masculine birthday cards. And you could do a big, great big happy birthday stamp on the inside if you want to, or just leave a blank and have lots of room for your sentiments. So I actually knew today's live was going to be super quick and easy. And I actually planned it like that. I want you guys to take the evening and craft if you want to, or if you're spending time with your family, give them a great big hug and a kiss and enjoy your Thanksgiving. I will be back on Thursday or Tuesday for another live and I will have something fun and exciting for you on Tuesday. Have a great evening. Happy Thanksgiving friends. And I will see you everybody on Tuesday. Bye-bye.